Right, so the first thing is, will it start? No, it won't. Oh dear. We might have a slight problem. <laughs> right, so that wasn't really how I was expecting it to go. I'm going to have to go get a jump pack and try it again. Right, so after that eventful start, welcome to my M140i, which looks in a terrible state. So this has been sat here for the past three weeks now, and I'm going to be honest, I've not had the best past few months. Where do I even begin? So the first issue I had was I ran over a massive pothole on the way to work and, and bent my front passenger wheel. Now, luckily, I was able to drive on this, and this was absolutely fine. It didn't really cause much of a headache. It was a hell of a bang, and it did dent my wheel enough for me to really replace it. Now, I could have gone down the repairing route, but I decided for the sake of just buying one new wheel, it's just easier to do that and also now I've got my old one as a spare so that's kind of all right but a massive shout out to alloys.co.uk for sorting me out a deal on that wheel I do really appreciate that to be fair I get quite a lot of questions where you get wheels from if you want to find out where I get them from I'll leave a link in the description down below now the next one you can kind of argue that it was kind of my fault but at the same time I don't think it really is um, and that is to do with the number plate now one day I went outside and decided to go for a, a drive and realized my front plate was missing now bear in mind this was parked outside my house so wasn't too happy about that. Now, if you watch the channel, you would know that I made a video about making magnetic plates. So these just stick on the bumper so I can take them off for photos and make it look a lot cleaner, but then put it back on when I'm driving the vehicle. And I kind of thought this might happen, but then I know a lot of people with the plates and it's never happened to them, but yeah, it happened to me. Someone stole my plate. So they clearly wanted some free merch, so fair play. But since that, I've now got CCTV at my house and I've also now replaced my wires so I can now rewire my dash cam front and rear camera into my car, so that's all good. Obviously, I needed a new plate, but massive shout out to SR Plates for sending me out a new plate. Their response was unreal. I messaged them and literally within two days, they were straight into uh, my post box. So that was really amazing. If you want to go check them out, they do like row legal plates and all sorts of uh, all sorts of plates. Go check them out. If you use code BB10, you can get 10% off. But anyway, massive shout out to them for replacing it. I've also got a uh, new Magna Plate kit, which Magna Plates kindly sent out to me because obviously all I needed was the new plates at the back. So I fit those back on and now I've got a plate again and I'm now gonna just take it off the car when I'm not using it. So yeah, just like the alloy, that is now sorted and I can put it back on the car just like that. Now you might be wondering what else has gone wrong? Well, over here, have a look at this. So my windscreen at the minute obviously looks absolutely fine. And that is because it is a replacement windscreen. Someone, I think someone or something, maybe a bird flew over and dropped like a stone or a stick on it or something, but I came out outside my house and uh, realized that there was a crack from here all the way up to here. Now bear in mind, when I parked on my driveway, there's a blank wall. So when you drive on, you would be able to clearly see a crack. And when I parked it up, there definitely wasn't a crack in it. When I came out the next day, went to go drive it. It'd been on the driveway all day. I realized there was a massive crack going right through it. Now it could be a few things. Someone could have come on the driveway and hit it because it looked just like those glass breaker. You know, like the glass breakers that you can smash glass with like to get out of um, like fire exits and stuff like that. Like a, like a little tiny breaker with like a little pin at the end and that shatters glass. It kind of looked like that, but it could be anything. A bird could have dropped something or it could have been pressure built up over time and it just finally went bang. But it just looked a bit too suspicious. But anyway, I've now had the windscreen replaced. So that's all been replaced and it's got a brand new windscreen on there and yeah no issues at all and also the tin guy has uh, put a new sun strip on as well so that's all sorted and if you think it couldn't have got any worse it definitely did i went up a road at about 45 50 mile an hour on a 60 mile an hour straight and my, i heard this like psh noise and uh, my tire light came on so i thought i pulled to one side and uh, yeah i had a puncture now i've had a lot of punctures over my years of driving and i've not even been driving that long but i seem to have punctures in all my vehicles which is a bit strange but anyway um it must be where i drive or something um but uh but because of this i always keep like uh pu puncture repair kits in my car so i always keep the foam and i also have like the plug kit where you uh, shove it in pull it out and then cut it off and then it all goes flush and it sort of like plugs the tire so um i pulled to one side the problem is with my car being so low i had to roll a little bit get out of the car check if i can see any holes i couldn't go back in move it a little bit more 
and then do that so many times. And it got up to about half an hour and I just gave up. So I called up my mate and he luckily came up to rescue. So he had a look as I was driving and we both couldn't see it. But eventually we did see it. And we found what we thought is the hole. Um, I went to go repair it. That took about five minutes or whatever. And then we went to go pump up the tires and it still didn't pump up. So we were like, Oh dear. So uh, it turns out there was actually two punctures in the tyre. So yeah, that's just fantastic. And we couldn't find the second one. So what we did, luckily my mate went back to my house. He grabbed my uh, jack. He brought it up to where I was... Uh, <laughs> broke down and we jacked up the car took off the wheel and realized that it was a massive slit in the tire i put an image on screen now so uh, i don't know what i hit but i did actually drive past like a a, a wastage place like a dump and that's what people we, we call it anyway so uh, we went past there and um i'm guessing there must have been some sort of like metal piece or something sharp on the floor dropped off like a trailer or a truck or something and i ran over that and it slashed a, a, a slit in my tire and obviously being a slice in the tire i can't really repair that so um oh my god it's <laughs> oh he's gonna <laughs> tell me <laughs> my my i literally feel like <laughs> myself <laughs> so uh, steve's just absolutely scared the absolute out of me and recorded a little video of him creeping up over the walls <laughs> look at this hang on <laughs> there i am there <laughs> Hopefully you can see that, there you go. That, there we go. Oh, Hang man. on, let's see if I get the jump one. <laughs> you watch me crazy. Yeah. Oh my god, it's Brad <laughs> Oh, literally. I feel my muscles are still like, tense. I must have just like cramped up. Woo, I'm definitely alive now. I'm definitely awake. <laughs> you got me good there, fair play. So that swiftly moves me on to uh, who recovered my car. Uh, even though it was late, Steve from Hanager Motorsport dropped what he's doing and he came and <laughs> rescued me basically loads of us went down it was quite funny to be fair and uh my mate uh, matt drove it onto the trailer just so i can make sure everything was okay and i didn't want the alloy getting destroyed um but we put it on, on the trailer strapped it down and so steve has actually allowed me to leave it at his yard up here so yeah awesome thank you for doing that but um now it's a case of uh putting the two new tires on so i can get driving again so uh this is the state of the tire so you can see here we've actually rolled on the tire and it's completely flat the tread was not great anyway um, but it definitely had a few uh, thousand miles left in it. This one isn't too great either. So next in tires who sent me out these tires have actually kindly sent me out another set to go on. Now we have gone from a 245 profile to a 255 um, in width. So hopefully it fits, but we'll work that one out <laughs> in a little while. But hopefully it should give me a bit more grip. So the reason why it's been sat for about three weeks is because I've been waiting for the tires from next. And now, yes, you're probably saying you could have just gone out and bought a cheap tire just to last you for a few weeks until you get the, the next tire sent out. But to be fair, I didn't know how long it was gonna take. So I don't wanna buy a tire and then the next day, uh, two new rears turn up. So I didn't wanna do that. And quite frankly, because of all the problems I've been having with my car, it was quite nice to not have a car for a bit and just forget about cars um, and have three weeks off, which has been kind of nice. So yeah, now hopefully my car will be back to normal and we can continue the content as usual the content as usual. So we're now going to head down to Hatton Energy Motorsport and get these fitted in Steve's workshop. So massive thank you to Steve for allowing me to film this. And he's also going to let me try and fit one, which could be interesting considering the, the side walls are really small. So that could be a bit of a problem. But so Steve's going to fit the first one just so we can check the fitment, make sure it's all okay. And then he'll then teach me how to fit the second tire. I have done it once and I did it on like a YouTube short and a TikTok, but too fair, it's been a while. So yeah, let's fit the tires. Right, so now let's try and take this car down to his workshop. It's not too far, and I think it'll be fine. It's going to roll on the tire anyway, so we, fingers crossed, should be right. First time driving this car in three weeks. <laughs> Don't crash it. Did you leave the handbrake on? No, they like seized on. Yeah, but did you leave the handbrake on? Yeah. That's why. It'll stick on. You'll be all right, it will come off. But you'll have to be careful because you've not got a lot of room at the front. I'll go pull, pull on right and do it. Yeah. There she goes. That was scary. I'll reverse out. Yeah, yeah. Bit of right hand down. Yeah, that's totally fine. That's it. Go on, as you are. Straight, 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 straight. Slowly, slowly. Come on, creep forward. Yeah, miles away. Luckily, Steve's workshop is like meters away. So 
So in this video, we're probably gonna be struggling for light because it's already getting dark, um, but these tires arrived today and I just wanna get them on so I can get driving this thing again. The brakes don't look too good, but um, we'll be changing all four corners in like the next video or two. So yeah, quite excited to uh, give them a little upgrade. So these are the tyres for Nexon, they are the Nefera SU1 tyres and being a 255 profile, I don't know if it's just because they're off the car, but they look absolutely massive, so hopefully they're a bit more grippier. Um, but yeah, look at a tiny sidewall as well, so hopefully it's still comfortable, but it should be alright. Um, I've also got some new wheel bolts, so these are just some smarter ones because the ones I've currently got on the car look like that and they just rust up in the middle, they're just not that great. Hopefully you can see that there, but yeah. So I've got some ones here built for the this car. So yeah, should be good. And it also comes with a uh, better locking wheel nut key as well. So um, yeah, we'll get those on as well. Right, so Steve's kind of fitted the first one. It does need to settle yet, because it's going to go a fair bit lower than that. But you know what? Being a 30 profile is a little bit worried, but it doesn't even... It's no lower than the 35 on the other side. So, you know what? I'm kind of happy with that. Now, I thought it'd be interesting to show you over here where the uh, where I actually uh, repaired the tyre. So there, look. There is the, the actual bung. So where I fitted the first one, and that's the only that was the one that I thought was the only puncture, and then and then after repairing that one, I thought that was the only hole, and then no, it was this slit as well. So yeah, that's uh, obviously what I couldn't repair. So now it's my turn to try and fit this tire, but the walls are so small it's quite hard to do. But we'll try it. So over here is actually the uh, spare wheel. So this is the dented wheel that um, Steve kind of did repair to some extent. So um, I can't even find the dent now. Yeah, he just beat it flat, but it's somewhere here. But yeah, he did fair decent repair, but this is gonna be my spare. So we'll put the good tire, good rear tire on this one. Right, so it's now my time. So uh, let's see how it goes. I do briefly remember a few bits because I've done this once before, but I think it's quite a cool skill really to learn how to undo tires. Cause, oh, to change tires. Cause I don't think loads of people know how to do it. Apart from tire fitters. Apart from tire fitters, but like normal people. Am I normal? I don't think I'm normal, I. <laughs> no. What's this called? A uh, Schrader valve key. A Schrader valve key. Mm -hmm. And I need to be careful with the little thing, don't I? Of the what? The Schrader valve? Yeah. Well, that's the one. Right, so now we have to pop the bead, don't we? Yeah. Yeah? So this goes over here, like this. That goes out. Yeah. Bring it in as far, as close to the, bring it in as close to the alloy as you can like sensibly do it, like that's that. it there. Yeah. Then press and the far right hand. Far, 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 far right hand. Closest yeah, to it. me. Yep. And hold on to it. That's it. Try and avoid doing it directly where the valve is because obviously you've got your okay, yeah, yeah. block so you should be able to do it either side of the valve. That's it. There? Yeah. So which pedal is it again? Middle one. Middle one. Yeah. I think I don't have to get it a little bit out. No. So put so hook the wheel into two of them. I'm so you can do turn, turn it if you want. So if you spin it, I'm gonna be stupid. How do I turn that? <laughs> is it a pedal? Yes. Oh, did you, which one? This one. Yeah. That's mm. funny because keep going. Well, I wish you were gonna turn it. Keep going. <laughs> now hook the rim into two of those. <laughs> into the back two into the back two so you've got the front what? two out if you hook it into the back two that's it hook it into this it's in there yeah there you go and then you've got to hold the rim push it hard into those two like lean your body weight against it yeah and then then put your hand Mind underneath your fingers. yeah then middle one press that button so it comes they come out and then as they come out just past the edge of the rim press the button again and it will go they'll go back in that's it stop First time. I struggled so much that last time, didn't I? It's, it's easy when you know how. Now check it. Make sure they're hooked in all the way around. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Solid. There you go. Right, next thing. 
I'll hit the airline, which is there. Here? Yeah, that. swing the arm around. Should be the same. Yeah, but you've got to put your lever bar underneath and just pop it down. So grab the lever bar, pop that down so you can slide it up to the rim. I don't have to go, yeah, there you go, go on. If you can catch it on the outer bit of the rim if you need to. There you go, just push the wheel in. That's it. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. There we go, now you've got to put the lever bar in this side behind the metal rail. I'll in come around here now. In there? Yeah. You've got to get that underneath the tyre. Yeah, that's it, underneath the tyre. And then you've got to go around with your hand, that's it, and pop it down all the way around. That's it, and then pull towards you. Put, put the tyre up over the top of that. That's it. And then that spinny one. Which one? The, 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 that one. That's it. Then you pull the bar out. There you go. And I then you can you rotate that. it. Okay. Cool. That's it. Take it all the way around. Take that off. And then you've got to hook it up. In the inside, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Ready? Yeah. Sweet, so that's the good one that's going on the spare, yeah? Yeah. Cool. I made myself bleed. You did? How? Mm -hmm. Dunno, there's a bit of manual labour in it. Soft hand. Oh. Cut myself. I'm gonna sue you now. <laughs> <laughs> you want rough hands like that. <laughs> Is there a certain way? Uh, if you read it somewhere, it should say inside and outside. Outside. That's it. So this bit goes here. So I've got the right way That bit there, yeah. But that means but I need to do the other side first. Yeah, exactly. Right, right now the top, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll struggle, you just watch. Well, that, I, I'm <laughs> filming for you. I know. Yeah? Yeah. Go on, you're through now. Keep going. All the way. Run it. Well, just let go. Just let it keep get, get it going. That's it, press the button. Here you go. So there we have it, the tyres are now fitted and to be fair, I couldn't be happier. I was a little bit worried going for a wider width, um, but actually, if you look at the fitment, bear in mind we're not on flat ground. If you look at the fitment, it doesn't poke out at all. It sits absolutely lovely. You can still fit a few fingers up there, which is really good. And over here is even more of a gap just because obviously we're sat on a funny angle, but yeah. How good is that? And obviously having a wider width tire means we get more grip. And to be honest, being a 30 profile tire, it's not less comfortable. It is pretty much just the same. And when you actually look at the sidewall on this compared to that, obviously that one being a 35 profile and that one being a 30, there's actually not a lot in it. So yeah, I'm pretty happy and also, the wheel bolts look really good as well, way better than the other ones that are rusting. But anyway, if you did go ahead and enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video, which I'll be doing something with this box. So uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a clue, but that's to look forward to in the next video. But anyway, if you did go ahead and enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe. Massive thank you to Hat Engine Motorsport for allowing me to try and fit my own tire, and also Nexon tires for the actual tires themselves. Really do appreciate it. And also SR plates for the plate. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys very, very soon in a brand new video.